Hello and welcome to Godhood. We're going to be building our own religion today, complete with uh, with a divine entity and, and uh, devout followers and, and heathens to smite along the way. Uh, all being developed by Abbey Games, the same guys that made Reyes and Renowned Explorers. This is in early access as of today, uh, July 10th, and I've been looking forward to this one to play to, well, looking forward to playing this one for quite some time. I'm a big fan of, of God games, so I've had my eyes on this one ever since it was back in its successful Kickstarter days. So, anyway, uh, let's check this thing out, and let's, um, start, you know, in the beginning, making a god. What's it look like? What are they, uh, what are they, what do we call our, our followers? Well, let's pick what it look like first. How about something like, we can randomize it here and pick something like that, or we can customize it, we can change what kind of wings we have here. I want something, yeah, there we go, that's good. And, uh, maybe my arms, I want, uh, yes, the one with the sword is excellent. My hat, uh, is that a fish? Um, how about, um... Feathers are cool. Feathers are cool. My my eyes. I want something. Yes, yes, yes. Something nice and beady and, and, and scary. There's one over here. Yeah, the snake one. I want to be the snake god. And uh, all kinds of different faces we can go in here. Something Lovecraftian. And uh, I want... I saw this one back. That's what we want. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be pink, though. We're going to be... Um, how about green? We will have... Uh, can I have, like, black wings? No, how about, how about red wings? There we go. And my feathers are going to be yellow. Ooh, it's hideous. And those feathers back there can be black. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's hideous. What shall we address you? Well, the followers worship. Untinti. The religion is called... The belief... No, no, no. The religion is called... Um... Uh... Nukrism. And my worshippers are called... Um... Oh, the... It's the whatever. The... The goats of Untinti. The goats worship Untinti. Uh, a goddess. No, no, no. Uh, you know, yeah. Either, yeah. Not god, not goddess. Both. God, god of Nukrism with a simple fervor. What is your style? Um, dark, obviously. So w when we play this, when we build our god, we're gonna choose what our um, uh, what's the word? Our um, our vices and 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 virtues and and all that along the way here. What can be our shall be our colors? Will be uh, black. Okay. Now. But we can also change in here um, basic things, intros and manual saves and, and that also. Let's go ahead and let it be known who we are. So we get kind of an intro tutorial-y kind of thing that sort of brings us into the game and gets us kind of set into the story here. For as long as there have been people to believe there have been gods to vie for their attention, Ontinti is one such god. Destined to claim their place in humanity's hearts and minds, they would start with a single soul. De destined to become the first prophet of Nukrism. I am Ontinti. From nothing, Ontinti appeared before Umen. Umen renounced their faith in the old god, uh, Quetzalcoatl, and placed it with Ontinti instead. First, Ontinti taught Umen about what is right. In my name you will spread. Here we go. Now we get to choose what our main commandment in our, uh, is. Are we a, uh, a war people, where peace will be a vice? Like it's all about killing things, right? Uh, we can do peace, which is the altar. The alternate there, we can be peace where war is the vice. Um, and as we develop our followers, we're going to try to make sure that they are focused towards one of these. We have lust, and we also have chastity on the other side. Very interesting way these will play out because you will obviously won't be going in with like a broadsword killing everyone to force other followers, but you have to go in and like, um, you know. Lust them, I guess. <laughs> you know, whatever, to, to get them to join you on that side. Interesting uh, take on this. Uh, I think we're going to go with war, though, just because, you know. Are you sure you want war to be a virtue? Yes. All right, let's see our story here in our, our intro. The elders, who worship the ancestors, thought this idea would be dangerous. This will only lead to destruction and agony. They could not see how they were wrong in opposing Ontinti. A sacrament was called to determine who is right. So we're going to fight it out now. So now if we were like a, uh, um, a, um, a lust-focused god, then we would go and we like um, we would plead to them, or whatever you do with lust, uh, to to join us. So this is this is how the uh, the fights, the sacraments they call it, happens kind of throughout the game. We're not really in the game yet. We're just sort of in intro story mode right now. But we'll go out into other temples and, and do this, where we will fight them out. And each of our followers here, Uman is one of my prophets, is going to have different abilities. Since we're a war people, they're there, the mind-fogging, mighty rally, they're doing various things here, uh, which is hurting my, my um, resolve. 
There we go. So, so we're proceeding. On. We got beat down by the old elders, and they've cast us out of the city. Elders were resolute in their judgment. Uman uh, and a few followers were banished from the old city before leaving. Uman prophesied that one day Otinti would come back and conquer the old city. Uman continued to travel for days with the exiled. People were growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, Untinti spoke again. It shall be Untinti's holy site. A new religion is founded on this spot. So Uman, which is our uh, our first prophet, has come to a spot with some huts. So we're going to tell him, Uman, I want you. I'll explain what's going on here in a bit. It's going to kind of hold our hand for a moment. But we're going to go and tell him to go sit by the fire and prophetize so that he will gain faith. Get heading, make sure he is faithful and all that. Uh, make sure that he loves Ontinti, gives him powers, and make sure that he does what he wants us, what we want him to do. Right? This is a god game. They don't necessarily always follow us. Uh, we have some followers coming in here. Now, before we go to the next day and all that, I want to show a couple things off here. Um, we have a couple resources here. We got offerings, which is what we use to perform mir miracles and build things and all that. Um, here is Uman. There's a lot of stats here. And basically what this is saying is Uman loves me, and he has different dice roll abilities. As we get into those fights, he will roll one of these. So the more he likes me, the more likely he'll have things that we want him to do. Uh, he can level up in time. He's got stats. Uh, and, you know, he's an executioner. Of course he is. Okay. Let's pass the day and let Uaman go and uh, and pray for a bit to give him some faith. Well enough. Praying at the Holy Site Center, Uaman's faith in Otinti grew. The more faith a disciple has, the better they serve. So two disciples uh, in awe of this prayer pledged themselves to Nukrism. They were young Sipak and Itzel. Uaman preached to the new disciples. We must travel far and wide and prove Otinti's greatness in the Holy Sacraments. Victory will in the sacrament will convert new goats. <laughs> With more goats, Ontinti will grow more powerful. So we have to go and do more sacraments to go get more followers, or goats as we call them. Uh, and that's where we go into like the uh, the battle mode we just saw there. So this is our uh, our holy site. Um, this is where we will be constructing temples and all that to grow our uh, flock. And we'll gain new levels. We're only a level one. Personal belief is the only level we are at right now. Um, we can see... Oh my god, values and levels that we'll also get within the god. Um, CPAC, you can see here, is neutral. He, he's not, his faith isn't isn't so great. Uman is big time, though. So it wants me to go to the world map and show this off. So here we go. This is our world map. We have my home down this way. We've got the uh, the old city this way. Once we're level three, we can go charge that and try to take it out. There's other places out here, other islands around this way. Um, I think this is supposed to be randomly generated, procedurally generated. I, I was watching... Um, the devs do a video, and but it's not. Um, I've played a couple different games, and it's always the same. So I don't know if once we lead through this, maybe because I'm in uh, intro mode, so it, it works me into taking the old city before we get into something else, or maybe because it's early access. But this is not a procedure generated thing. Um, but over here, we saw we see we've got some. We can collect ten goats if we succeed at converting this tribe over here. So we've got the guideless team. They are godless. And we feel that they need a god. So we're going to send Uman in there. Uh, Sipak and Itzel are going to go in and uh, and condemn them and attack them and mercilessly strike them. We can see, like, uh, Sipak is inexperienced and she may get nervous. So she may get a dice roll that makes her nervous and not attack that round. Um, also, because we are a war people, we get bonus for doing violent things. We do, we do less damage if we try to do kind things to people. Right, we want to go and mercilessly destroy them. So here we go. Fight time. This is the end, says Uman. I get to go first. And I'm not. my hands are off here. I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting the game play, it's play out. Um, there's a lot of things in here that are, are feel like a mobile game. Um, it pains me to, to mention that because, uh, well. Um, so we'll see how it plays out, though, as we get further into this. There we go. CPAC is nervous, so uh, he <clears throat> didn't fight that that round. Itzel uh, finished him off, though, with a final strike. We, we bashed their resolve or whatever. We have dominated this uh, tribe. Uh, CPAC has been unlocked. We can now give CPAC a, a, um, a class, and there's a lot of different classes we can pick here. So because we are a war people, uh, he favors being a rage prophet, an executioner, or a smite sword. What's it mean? Basically, it just means the different kind of abilities he's going to get along the way where he'll level up. He's very strong. Eight might is really good. So he, because he has a lot of might and a lot of health, we probably should make him a Rage Prophet. Everything else here is going to focus on other things. Cunning and might for this one. 
Um, this one is uh, spreads their will with might with physical might. Attacking is their sole specialty. Okay, you can also customize him, change his his look and all that. What's with your face? Um, your lips? What's with the lips? <laughs> uh, uh, we can change all kinds of things here if we want. Give him uh, some. Oh yeah, yeah. There we, there we go. There we go. Um, and some, some mighty freckles and there. Let's get the. There we go. That's a little better. Um, change your head shape. We can change your name if you want to. Um, change your voice, which I don't think is actually in the game right, or, right now. But, so anyway, um, CPAC, perfect. I like it. You're done. Okay, you're going to be a rage prophet. Excellent. Now we have to do Itzel. Uh, Itzel here is uh, cunning and might is their thing. Or uh, they they are favoring being an executioner. Which are the bringers of war. They are a dark class with some ex ancestral abilities mixed in. You can see ancestral is just different abilities that pop up around here. Uh, they laugh at kind abilities and respond with their own violent abilities. Sounds like a plan. Okay, customize you. I'm going to randomize you. There you go. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, let's be feminine, though, with with, uh, with that hair. And... Uh, uh, <laughs> How about something like... There we go. There we go. Those those mighty fists. Um, perfect. Yeah, the pink really... Yeah, it'll free, free people out. Okay, there you go. So Itzel is going to be my executioner. Select that class. She gets a war reaper, by the way. Again, we get to go back to our, uh, our our home now. Disciples have overcome the obstacles before them. They return home victorious. We've got 31 gatherers. Uh, um, goats have joined in. In the sacrament victory, the disciples gained a uh, miracle charge, which we're going to use to do some things. We use those to perform miracles at holy places. So we're going to go build some holy places. Right now we don't have anything here but a campfire. So we're going to go and create a miracle building. Now uh, we place these out on our spots. Whatever we place is going to do different things. A herder's hut, for instance, if we go pray at that or do a miracle there, it's going to give us health, mostly. You get devotion, knowledge, uh, uh, health. Uh, there's might down there on the farmlands. Let's, let's put some farmlands in. You can see I'm spending some offering points there to do this. Uh, well, it performs the farm miracle, which helps my disciple be better. So let's throw a farm out right there. Okay. Now let's go construct another one. We can do two of these things. Um, let's get this uh, herder's hut because it's going to give us health. We'll throw it in right there. Okay. So now we can do a miracle. So we've got... Um, what's the name? Seapak, the rage guy. We want him to have might. So we're going to go have him go to... The farm to go perform a miracle at the farm. There he goes. And we also got Itzel here. We're going to send over here to the herder, to do a herder miracle. And then Uaman, we're going to have him just sit at the campfire. Okay. So we can go get more faithful or whatever. Uh, let's pass the day. So it's kind of a turn-based kind of thing here. But they're doing their, their, their things. Yeah, when they hit levels, they can do these miracle things. So he blessed the, land, blessed the lands and obtained his name. Then the harvest came, the yields were ripe and delicious. A true godsend. So he is now... He performed a farm miracle, which means he has given been given blind strike, which is a, a deal a random ancestral physical damage target to a random person. We'll see what ancestral means. Basically, it's a type of attack that you can defend against, depending on what kind of people you have. Uh, and it gives him a might bonus and all that. Uh, this one gives him plus two might for doing that miracle, and it's been added to his dice roll. Blessed BC pack. Some of the herd have been gone missing. Itzel felt inspired by Untinti and went out to search the jungle. When Itzel returns, a whole new flock of young of younglings was following her. Itzel is the shepherd of my flock. So Itzel has now a, uh, has done the wondrous herder miracle, which gives her plus two health, devotion, and cunning, and also has given her the war wind ability that she may randomly roll during an attack. It's a dark attack. Blessed be Itzel. Okay, so now we got to go back and do more killing. Uh, let's jump back into here and find some more tribes. You can see there's... We can even do this and we can find some towns over there. Um, these guys are at three strength. These guys are at three. These guys don't give us anything, but these guys, if we do, is we will get a relic, which is a item we can give to our people. Um, we can also collect some goats by doing that one. So let's go do this one over here. Eventually, we need to go up here, but yeah, we're only level two. Oh, we're only level one. We have to get level three before you can even walk in there. Um... And it's actually, we need a lot, level, a lot higher than level 3 to do that. So we're sending Uaman, Seapak, and Itzel in the fight. And uh, they also have passive abilities. I didn't really show this off. Can I see it here? Here we go. So let's take a look at this more, more here. Um, we have some... Here's a relic. If I find one, I can give it to him. He's an executioner class. He has a totem, which... Uh, I, a lot of the stuff I haven't quite figured out yet. Um, but he's... 
yeah, he's doing as I command because he likes me. There's his abilities. We saw that before. As he gets ability points, he can unlock new things. Um, we can see his stats there before. And so where's his passive? There's his passive ones. So he's got a uh, chance to follow up any allies divine ability and immune to kind things. So anyway, let's start this mission up and go kill these godless folks. I mean, you know, persuade these godless folks. Now, even if we weren't playing as a war tribe, the battle, this stage plays out the same. Just instead of doing rend or brawl, we would do, you know, uh, compassion or, or uh, we'll see what they do to me. They would doom or condemn, those kind of things. This guy's maybe a kind of a warlike tribe as well. You can actually look at them in that screen we were just at and see what kind of strikes they have. And so if we, um, we're going to have multiple followers, so maybe we want to throw in a... A guy that's good at blocking ancestral strikes into our mix and whatever else. So um, we got a Uman has a miracle charge, which we can use at the Holy City, like we just used before. And we'll go to the next next day here. We're now level two God. We can level up our God. We have a common relic laying around as well. Untinti is leveling up as goats flocked. Nukrism grew into a uh, first gathering. So we get Inspire Offering Stockpile. We can now build that. We also have increased my Worshipper Support. Perfect. Alright, so now we have to go go bless this relic to uh, basically tell us what it's going to do. So this guy is focused on Dark. This guy is Ancestral, and she is Dark as well. So let's go let Uamon do it. We're going to bless a Dark Relic. So let's see what the relic turns into. Mystery. Something Dark-focused, though. It is a it's a flower of charisma. What? Improves all miracles in the ritual. Okay. In order to collect all, uh, required offerings, you require disciples wish to build an offering stockpile. Okay. So they want to build an offering stockpile. Let's see if we can do that here. Is that what this is? Offering stockpile. I want to throw it right. Um, let me throw it back over here. Let's throw it right, right there. Okay, so there's my offerings are going to load up over there. I don't know how many we can hold there. I can't click on things here. Um, we can do the same thing as we did before. We can inspire a miracle with you, Uman, because he leveled up, right? We can go and trace his might or increase his health. Uh, oh, no, we can't. We don't have enough offerings, so never mind. So I think I'm going to have you go and yeah, hang out here at the fire. I can do all three of you to go do whatever. Um, oh, I can go. Oh. We can either go here to increase the amount of followers we have and give them more faith, or go up here and just collect offerings, which we'll need for tomorrow for various things. Okay, yeah, I can do that. These guys kind of need the uh, the faith, but um, this will work too. Okay. My relic. Um, especially when it was miracle. Yeah, and I think I go into here and go here. No. What do we need to do with this? Equipped by a miracle. Sign a relic. First, open the inspection window for the miracle. Click the plus symbol under relic. Huh? Eh? Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, so we put it on here. Let's put it on the farmland. That's a good... Yeah, because that gives us might. We're going to throw this thing. Cruise all miracles in the ritual, giving us plus charisma. Sure. Okay. Also, upgrade the farmland if we want later on. Um... Next day. There's good, uh... There's the goats praying and doing whatever things goat people do. Okay, so the day is done. Um, we can go and... I think we just go out and fight more things. Inspire a miracle by having them do what we just had them do. But I think we need to go out and, uh, and do some more killing. That's the wrong button. <laughs> That's the wrong button. I meant to hit the map button. Whoops. Let's go to the map. Okay, um, so we've claimed this one now. We got two spots claimed by us. We got goats up there. Let's go to. Um, let's go do this one. Be a little more tougher. These guys you can see are doing brawl, physical damage. This is ancestral damage, and this is physical damage. Doesn't matter who we put in because we still only have the three guys. So we're gonna throw all three of them in, and we're going to fight with it. Let's fight them out. A little bit tougher than the other guys. I think the other ones were thirty. We have seven rounds to take them to zero. Yeah, guide us. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Rending. 
Merciless strike, yeah, yeah. There we go. Pretty, we're pretty tough. At least for the early levels, anyway. Oh, nice, nice. Nice, wow. There you go. So Uman in there is blocking all these attacks because that's what he does. It hurt quite a bit though. We got us in the tin. Okay. Donated. Another miracle has been charged again? Okay. Now. Or oh, I didn't actually I didn't do this miracle, did I? We need uh, 60 and then we'll get a next a level of, uh, of faith. Just right here. Okay. Um... Oh, that miracle. Yeah, I want you to go do... What do we want? Do I want the might one? I think... I think I want the might one again. Do that one, Uman. And then the other two. Let's go and sit here and collect these things up. Didn't I get some of those before? Did we use them? Oh, I used them on that, I guess. And then the C-Pack. Um, go do that, too. Okay, go hang out over there. We'll see what kind of miracle we get from him. So for goats of travel to the holy site, eager to become your next disciples. You may summon these initiates to determine who is worthy enough to become acolytes of Nucrism. Each disciple requires an amount of your worshiper support to carry selection. So we're going to have a few folks come to us. We're going to decide who gets to join us. Terrible drought has put the harvest in danger. Uman performed a rain dance all night to please Umtinti and send water from the skies. Umtinti listened to his humble plea. Rain was plentiful and saved the harvest. Good job, Uman. This is his miracle he just did. So now he has done the Wondrous Farm Miracle, which gives him Might, plus we have the Relic, which gives him Charisma in there as well. And uh, he's been given a passive thing of Rend, which deals damage. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, we got Rend, and we also pick a passive ability. I get it, so we get Cunning, we gotta get Might. Yeah, all Might, buddy. What's this? Oh, our new Initiates are here. Alright, welcome. Let's see what you got. So we're going to have a few of them to pick from. We've got Zuma from the Seas. We have Marathu. And we have Tai, the bloodline of Uaman. Oh, are you like Uaman's, uh, like, brother, sister, something like that? Well, another prophet. So you have plus 10 faith because you was, was taught to believe firmly by her family. Yeah, yeah, so I'm... You know, we have to pick. Who are we going to take? We can pick two of them. You have a duck totem, which gives you uh, a health talent and a devotion talent. Um, you can elect four fanatics, charisma and cunning. I'm not sure what else to look at here. And we got you, uh, rank good, whatever, you might and cunning. We know we're taking you. So we know we're going to take uh, Ty. Here we go, we can see more stats on the on Eight. Uh, might seems good. N yeah, yeah. You're in the, in the mix. Now, the last two, we got Marathu and Zuma. So executioner, Zealot, or Guardian, and... Oh, you know what? These are all different things. Are you okay with... I kind of like the idea of the fanatics, though. Whenever you perform a miracle, we get four fanatics. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Um... Oh, I don't think I have enough for you. Do I? I can't. I can't even get you anyway, so we're going to take you in. Okay, we don't have enough for you, so I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to let you go. Get out of here. Okay, so we got two new folks. we got Ty and Marathu, who can do various things. Uh, and we can also set them off to do, you know, all the fighting and all that. But we're going to go back to the world map and do some, uh, some killing. So, oh, we have another god over here? We do. Who's this? Ooh, a rare relic can be created here. Yeah, yeah, we, could, we should do that one. Let's get a rare relic. Now, we're going to send in... Is everyone okay? Everyone healthy? I hope so. Send an Uaman in. We're sending Seapak. I think we just send in the, the original guys. Until these other... Well, the other ones would level up if we send them in. So let's send in Ty for this one. And she's a little inexperienced, so she might be too nervous to act, but we'll see what she can do. And again, hands off. The game just fights for itself. And we just sort of hope they do what we want them to do. Okay. That seems okay. And four seems... Thirteen. It seems like it hurt a lot. Wait, did you just heal yourself? That seems like it hurt a lot. Are we going to lose this fight? 
A lot of rage going on there with CPAC. There we go, we got him. There we go, we got him. Just barely. Okay, we get a rare relic out of this. I don't know what inspection mode does. Plus, we got a miracle charge with CPAC, and Ty can now pick a class. So, we already have Executioner, we have a Rage Prophet, we don't have a Smite Sword. Divine represents the heavens, judgment connection with Ontinti. So, uh, resist Ancestral, but weak versus nature. So, we have a bunch of nature folks attacking us, we want to not put her in there. But we're going to go with, um, I guess, Smite Sword, because it's Might and Devotion. She doesn't have a lot of, but uh, we're going to do it. We can customize her if we want. She's got some fancy uh, helmet there. Yeah, you're good. So now, we're now level 3. We got ourselves a rare relic. I, my god has leveled up. Let's buy our Fanatic Grounds. And uh, some Worshipper Support has gone up to Valus to get more, more people to follow us, I guess. Um, who, so who wants to bless? Same thing with the rare relic. Who wants to bless it? Basically, with the, on the rare ones, I think it's going to be an item that they can carry around with them. Um... Divine. No, we're going to give it to Uman, I think, again. Bless that Dark Relic. What are you going to give us this time? It is a Veil Stone. 20% Defy chance. Sign this Relic to a Disciple in your Holy City. Yeah, to a Disciple. So, for goats close to Intinti, they wish to serve them more effective, actively. Uh, Uman reasons that they could be trained to become ardent fanatics. Fanatics can be sent to rituals to increase their effectiveness. More fanatics, sounds good. Um, we have a ritual to use, which is right here. We need to go into... We're going to give it to Uaman here and say, Here you go, buddy. Have a rock to make you a little bit cooler. All right. Um, fanatic grounds, we're going to build that right over here. And let's make sure... In 19 days, we can summon more new initiates to us. Um, and miracles, right? we got new people here. I want... We're going to do the Might Miracle, I think, again. And, um... Oh, we don't have enough, enough of that to do that other Miracle, so we're going to have to wait for it. So, I can only do two or three of these. Collect Fanatics. Well, I don't know what that does. It's up, oh, it's a new resource we've just now unlocked. Okay. Go there. Uh, Seapak's doing his thing. So, Uman, I'm going to send you... Um, well, it doesn't really matter who we... You, go, uh, there. And, uh, we've got three already doing their thing, so we can't do anything else. Only three disciples at once can be inspired to do whatever they do. Okay, so let's go and pass the day. See back, bless the, rain, uh, the lands in Ontinti's name. When the harvest came, the yields were ripe and delicious. That's right, we have done the farming one, which has given him might and charisma. We should always do that because of that, that relic we have in there, which has given him the new ability of Ancestral Force, which has been added to his uh, his mix here. And a new passive of... Uh, hmm. I think because he's the Rage guy, right? You're the Rage guy, this is CPAC. We're going to give him the might. That's what he needs. Okay. And I think it's a good, good time to call it a day. So let's call it a day. At level 4, we get, you can see what happens up here. We can see our, our god levels that we've reached up to is that one. There's a bunch more to eventually get to. Um, and in time, hopefully, reach out and attack the main guys. I haven't fought against a separate god before. If we were to go here, this is the Bountiful Tlaylocks. These are a bunch of druids. They deal nature damage. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of uh, druids out here. So I guess we don't want to send in... Was it uh, Ty here who does... Who's weak against nature? Yeah, divine resistance. That's what was weak against nature, so we don't want to send her in there. Um, he's hurting, so he's recovering. Uh, resist nature, so we do want to send Uaman and uh, uh, an Itzel in there. We want to get Mara through uh, trained. Anyway, we're calling it a day here. This is Godhood. It is available now uh, on Steam Early Access. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.